John Florio was one of the most outstanding interpreters of Italian humanistic culture in Elizabethan England. Defining himself an Englishman in Italian and Italian tongue, English at heart, hinting at his duplicity and go-between personality, he quickly imposed himself as one of the most important creative humanists of the English Renaissance. A minister who officiated marriages of words that have endured to this day like emotion and management, but also fuck and masturbate. Bounties of proverbs that we still use when we go fishing for new truths like all oh, the glitters is no gold, compounds like marble-hearted. John Florio was a juggler of words, flamboyant translator and a musical lexicographer. He loved books ravenously. He ransacked and borrowed prose from his colleagues and favorite Italian classic authors to rise entertain the language lessons manuals and collections of proverbs. He published in 1598-611 the first two Italian English dictionaries and in 63 the masterpiece of Elizabethan prose, his English translation of Montaigne essays. We knew documents, this book aims to demonstrate that John Florio was also a wizard in poetry, involved in the production of sonnets. Like an acrobat of words, jumping from the Italian Petrarca sonnet to the English Iambi pentameter, this book unveils a new extraordinary side of Florio's multifaceted personality, a hint that his career, a tutor, wings, a translator, was only a fragment of much intriguing, gifted genius the world needs to recognize.